What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. Oh my goodness. Listen to me. <sighs> there was a small, a small part of me this week that was actually impressed by the ponies. I was impressed. See, when they came out with the judging the game just based off of the, the, the start menu, right? Yes, I'm talking about Starfield. I was impressed by how many ponies didn't just follow suit, right? Because it's funny that we call them ponies because they do have kind of like a herd mentality. They're a group of people that need to have validation from their own group. So like they post something and they look up like, is it approved? Do you guys approve of it? Oh, can we like this game? Oh, we're not supposed to like this game? Oh, we all like this game. Even though I don't like it, I can't say that I don't like it because it's that, that's the mentality that, that they have. They don't, they don't have individual thinking brains, right? So when I saw that they went against the whole start menu thing, most, most of them did. Some of the ones that didn't are just full of ponyism. You can't save those, right? But most of them did. Most of them didn't make a big deal out of the start menu because they know it sounds ridiculous. So when I saw that, I was impressed. But then as soon as I get impressed by the ponies... I get disappointed, but I should have known. I should have seen it coming. So a 40-minute video of Starfield gameplay got leaked, okay? I got a chance to see the video. I didn't watch all 40 minutes of it. I just clicked through it, right? For the simple fact that I'm going to get to play this game and I'll be able to judge it myself, right? Now, that's the thing about this 40-minute video is that this 40-minute leaked footage doesn't really matter. It, 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 has, it has no bearing on whatever judgment you want to make of the game. But what's funny is when you look at the comments, like somebody posted it on Twitter or whatever, the ponies <laughs> went far, far right, acting as if, this is, as if this is the most horrible thing that they've seen and that it's a downgrade and all this other stuff. First of all, the video is a recording of someone playing on their TV. So you're watching it through two screens, dummy, okay? That's number one, okay? Number two, you're not going to get the full resolution, dummy. That's number two. Number three, you know that when you're playing something, even if they're streaming it, even if you're watching it in your house, it looks different, dummy. So you, you should already know that you're not going to get the same experience. And then here's the biggest thing. The, the, to all the dumb Sony ponies out there that, 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 that posted on this, on this freaking post and, and try to downplay Starfield, you can't play the game by looking at it. We buy and, 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 and play video games to play them. Play them. Play is an action. Okay? You can't do that by looking at this. Somebody, was it J-Dub? That, that, was it J-Dub that, that canceled his pre-order? Bro, you ain't slick. You canceled your pre-order just because you're going to use Game Pass. Good for you. Good for you. But don't act. If this is the reason why you canceled your pre-order, dog, give, turn in your gaming credentials. Turn in your gaming credentials. Because this is ridiculous. You're judging a game based off of a 40-minute footage of someone else playing it, recording it on their TV, and they didn't even look like they were that good anyways. Whoever was playing it. But here's the, here's the crazy part. You ready for this? Anyone that understands actual gameplay saw that and was like, that actually looks good. That actually looks like fun. That actually looks like fun. Boy, I'm telling you, the reach is ridiculous. And I understand it's because they literally have nothing to look forward to. It's either Starfield or Baldur's Gate 3, and a lot of them are going to be capping. They don't really play Baldur's games like that. They know they don't. Those games are too complicated for a Sony fan. Sony, Sony fans need simple games. 
bow, arrow, third person, over the shoulder. Here, you can only grapple here. Nope, nope, this is the only place you can grapple. Hey, you can only jump here. This is the only place you could jump. All right now, we're in incredible boss fight. How about we tell you exactly what to press? Those are the type of games that they need. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me everything I just said right there the last 10 seconds was a lie. You know it's true. Every single PlayStation game, same formula. Oh, real high intense fight. Tap square a lot. <laughs> Come on, man. So you don't know how to judge gameplay. Leave that up to the real gamers, which are on the Xbox side. Don't do that to yourself, okay? I'll tell you what. The only PlayStation fans that I would say probably know about gameplay are those... That compete in Street Fighter. Not even the ones that just play, because you can turn it on. No, no, no. If you're, if you're good enough to go compete in Evo and all that other stuff, and your PlayStation is melting with the USB port and everything, you're, you know about gameplay, because that's, that's a fighting game. Only if your USB port is melting. If you play that hard that your USB port is melting. Boy, boy, it's crazy. They literally have nothing. So you're attacking a 40-minute 40, a 40 video. That's crazy. Well, like I said, I didn't watch the full video. I just skipped through pieces because I am going to have access to this game when this game drops. I need you to understand that. I will be able to judge this game. You see, typically you look at what the reviews of a game are. Or you look to see what the previews of a game are to determine whether or not you want to get the game. If you're on the Xbox side, you don't have to worry about that. You're going to get the game. If you're subscribed to Game Pass, you're going to get the game. And you'll be able to determine for yourself a huge benefit. So for all you ponies out there, you could have at least waited till you had access to the game. It's only a dollar, right, to get Game Pass. And you could get it on your phone, on your, on your TV, on your Samsung refrigerator, wherever you want. And then you could have played the game. And then that way you could have actually played it and reviewed it yourself. And then you could have said whatever you wanted to say. Instead, you're out here making a fool out of yourself. There's nothing in this video that will let you draw a conclusion as to whether or not this game is good or bad. Get the game in your hand. And Microsoft is allowing you to do that because Microsoft is better than Sony. That's simple. Doc Dark 195, there's levels to this. If you wish to argue with me about this or you will agree with me, Come join my live. You already know. I go live after my videos for my channel members. Come check me out. We out. Peace.